Hello fellow humans, it's your girl Tracy and you are watching World of Chawa. I make videos that help me and maybe you too in figuring out how to unlock our treasures and together learn to understand our struggles as humans being on earth. Let's get into this video. So I wanted to react to a video that came out six days ago on a channel on YouTube called Studio Ken and uh, i believe ken is the interviewer he is a journalist i believe and he interviews lots of celebrities and um, politicians and whoever he can get his hands on this video came out six days ago it's about a woman by the name of Motala Mwanza. She is Zambian. She's a Zambian um, journalist as well. It is titled Controversial Queen of Radio. So I have never heard of these two people. I don't know who's, who Ken is. I don't know who Motala Mwanza is. Obviously, I, uh, <laughs> I've been living under a rock for a very long time. Yeah, let me get into the video and stop talking. My guest on Studio Ken is journalist and women's rights activist Motala Mwanza. Tale, thank you for hosting us. Um, thank you for coming, even though you um, disrupted my nail appointment. I should have been doing my nails, but yeah. But it's for a good cause that you're here. Isn't yeah, it? well, you know, I like to accommodate people. Thank you for accommodating <laughs> us once more. <laughs> she just has you diving into this interview like, bruh, you're in my home. You've disrupted my time. Supposed to get these nails done. <laughs> And she has sunglasses. Now, listen, I have peop I have issues with people who, who wear sunglasses indoors. Like, what the F? What is it? What are you trying to prove? You know, it's almost like those guys who wear sunglasses um, at the club. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? We can see your shades, but, bruh, there's no sun. <laughs> what the hell? You claim to be a women's rights activist, but many women don't seem to agree with you. What are they missing? Um, I don't make any claims. I am who I am. I love to speak for women. I love to stand up for women's rights, and that's what it is. If other people don't agree, I have nothing to do with their opinions. Why do you think they don't agree with you? I'm just going to stop here. Her house is fabulous. It's beautiful. Now, I don't know what it is with the bottles of champagne behind her, if that's champagne. Because they all look identical. But anyways, why do I talk? I, I'm the kind of girl who buys the same uh, brand of wine every week. Like, I, I'll try something else and I'll hate it and just go back Chardonnay. So, I mean, I can hate, but... Where, where are you getting these stats from? The statistics? For instance, when you did your vagina run to the breakfast show on uh, Hot FM, mm -hmm. so many women seem not to have agreed with you because of the way you went about it. Okay, I think what made people uncomfortable is the fact that I use the word vagina on radio and not everything I said. I think that was a bit uncomfortable because um, there are children listening in the morning. So people felt like, oh my goodness, I was with my child in the morning and you just said the V word. So I think that's what the issue was. Do you regret it? No, I don't. Why don't you? Because I don't. But people would still say that because of the word that you used, I mean, you offended some, like the children that you're referring to, and here you are claiming to be a women's rights activist without any regret for what you said. Um, every part of the body has got a name, and... But some names are sacred. You don't just say them anyhow publicly. What is... Okay. <laughs> now, what? Is vagina really sacred? Do you have names like this, like penis, vagina? Are these things really uh, sacred? Because this is the first time I'm hearing about this. So you can't say these things on the radio or on television. Interesting. Whatever. Sacred about vagina. That's, that's the word. That's what it's called. Culturally, culturally, culturally. Oh, people okay. People say that's not the right way to go about it. Kennedy, I have no regrets. Next question. And how about uh, the hanging? <laughs> and how about hanging or cutting the line when the Lusaka province minister called in? I have no regrets. Why did you have to do it? Why not? Uh, he wasn't giving me a chance to ask him questions. So. But as a journalist, there are other ways other people would argue that you can conduct yourself other than the way you go about things. Is that your style? I can't comment on this because I didn't watch it. But how about the accusations that sometimes would follow you? People accuse you of belonging to political party A, political party B. But you see, that's the thing with that show. Mm. Um, of course, 
I, I, I speak based on truth. Mm. And that's what, um, you know, our bosses always tell us. You know, Kennedy, much, much shinkata mwabo mwenso. If I call it as it is, depending on what the truth is, it may offend whoever is affected. But don't you so, think sometimes you go overboard? I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I'm called... Uh, but it's her job though, isn't it? Isn't it the uh, the job of a journalist to kind of uh, ask those questions that you don't want asked, but because you are like put on blast, you have to respond, you know. But again, I ha I'm not even familiar with her work. I have like I really should get to know her body of work and how she does things, but no, I. I haven't watched it, but regarding to the questions that they have, that he's having, and uh, I, don't, I don't see the problem. But again, I don't know what she's done in these videos. I don't know what, what kind of interview she's conducted that has people owing arms up. Is it truly necessary to display your body in the manner that you do? How do I do it? Like you were in Siavonga, you were in your bikinis, and again, that caused a lot of talk. Um, when you go to the beach, what do you do? You swim, you're soaking in the sun, you're basking in the sun. I didn't go there to she looks good. Um, do anything else but to relax. She looks really so good. If I choose to swim, am I going to swim in a boo boo? <laughs> but I am time that you don't swim in a boo boo. <laughs> yeah. other than controversy. Um, Kennedy, how is a better way of swimming when you go on holiday? Please help me understand. I'm when talking you, about um, when you go on holiday with your children, for instance, how, how do you want to? How I feel like the problem with those pictures, again, when it comes to my personal opinion, I really don't see anything wrong with those video, with those pictures. Um, I think the problem that people have with the pictures is that she put them on, uh, on social media. What do you guys do when you go to the beach? Even just the, the, um, the swimming pool, what do you do? How do you dress? Because quite frankly, you really don't dress much. You really don't dress much at all. And bikinis are cute. I mean, you can have a one piece, even today's one pieces, they look hella pro provocative, but they're really good. My question is not restricted to you having to go mm. to Siabonga to swim. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about general. But that's, the exa but that's the example that you gave me. You said I was in Siabonga. Oh, okay. I Just was displaying my Yeah, she's bomb. I was swimming. So you are saying that people are ignorant because... I mean, if I'm going to a beach and I'm going to swim and somebody is saying I'm displaying my body, I find that offensive. I should be offended. Actually, people owe me an apology. People owe you an apology? Yes. Yeah. Women should be respected and women should be... Yeah, I, I do feel like she, she has a good point on this. Like, what's the big deal? Is it that she took pictures at the beach? Or is it just that she took pictures in bikinis altogether? I don't understand. Like we don't we don't question models about when they go out and um, they get shots of them in underwear and stuff like that. A bikini, really? This is just common sense. You go to the beach, you're in a bikini or a one piece or whatever it is. Maybe some people like to cover up. What do I know? You know, I don't like swimming. I can't even swim. So look at me trying to defend somebody who went swimming and I can't even swim which is exactly what you're doing right now. And so why do, people, why, do, really sad. Why, why do people attack you? I think that's a question um, that should be answering. Why are you always being attacked? It's not always, mm. but for the fact that I do a politically charged show, there are times when I would say something that maybe doesn't sit well with someone somewhere. So people find the need to want to discredit me, but I'm not going to allow that. I'm not here. I mean, again, I understand what you're saying, you know? Like if she is conducting a politically charged um, show, maybe people have higher expectations of her because she sounds almighty. I have no idea. Again, I, I don't know her, her body of work. I have no idea. But maybe people find that she, 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 she wants explanations. She's asking for accountability from whoever it is she's interviewing. And to discredit her, like she said, they'll, they'll pick and choose what it is that they feel she's done wrong, like being in a bikini, being called a prostitute, because apparently this is something that has happened. 
uh, a lot of times, and that's how she, that's why she spoke about it on her radio on her radio show. But yeah, but again, you know, the interviewer he's having really legit kinds of questions. Like you can ask these questions to anyone. The only you. way people want to discredit me, I do listen. I do a show with two guys. There's never a time they're accused of going out with a, this person and that person because I'm a woman. Obviously, I'm the weaker sex. I get attacked the most, and I never really understood why. So that's what I was trying to bring out to say, I do the show with two guys. How, why are they not talked about? Some Even when they speak, they're not accused of A, B, C, and D. But as a woman, it's easier to attack a woman and just accuse me of sleeping with anyone. That's very offensive. It's, it's offensive because I'm qualified for what I do. Some of your attackers actually accuse you of... And apparently, she's really good at what she does. Apparently. Sleeping around or being a prostitute. I... That's very insulting. I'm not. And I'm actually shocked that you're in my house and you're asking me such a No, question. I'm asking. I'm here. I'm... Because, Kennedy, I've also seen some of your interviews. You've interviewed Miles before. Yeah. You've interviewed Pilato before. I've never heard you ask them any of those questions. So why are you asking me that? Different people will be asked different questions mm, based, based on what people on... say what people say about them. So where do you get the idea that people uh, say You just go to your Facebook page, just at the weekend. I've never seen a, a comment about me being a prostitute. But uh, just at the weekend, for instance, when you posted a picture, mm -hmm. someone commented, and you responded with an insult. They were commenting based on the fact that they're ignorant, I'm at a beach and I'm swimming, what am I supposed to wear? You, no. Can you tell me? If you were me, and you've, you, you've got an no, apology, it's not what me am to I answer, supposed to wear? It's not me to answer that question. She's but getting defensive. That like, you responded like with, I say. With an She's getting out of her, her gloves like she... You know, hold my wig. <laughs> she, she she's getting fired up. There's really no need for it, though. Like I said, you know, who won't see more. I will not die because of people's backwardness. Without causing controversy, like in the manner that you dressed. <laughs> Who dressed when? <laughs> the manner that you dress. When? <laughs> what? The, what? The, I the controversies that follow you, Mitali. Listen, look, I don't. <laughs> I don't, you need to tell me that on this particular day you wore well, this and it's a problem. Doesn't it, it concern you though that your life or your interviews, the way you conduct yourself, me. there's always going to be controversy somewhere? Yeah, but that's not my problem. <laughs> what What do your parents make of the way people Ooh. talk about you? Uh, my mom prays for me. She's, uh... <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> it's like my mom, my mom prays for me. <laughs> my mom prays for me too. She knows I don't pray. But... Why would you ask her what her parents think of what she's... This is a grown-ass woman. And I'm saying grown-ass. She must be maybe in her 30s or something. I'm not trying to throw shade. If she's less than that, then my apologies. But this is so displaced. It's like, it's almost like he's asking a question to like a teenager or like a preteen or whatever. Who, who, who gives a F about what her parents think? Like, it's so irrelevant. Now, that question was way off topic. Why are you talking about her parents and what they think about her in a bikini? Really? Strong, stout Catholic woman. And, yeah, she, she prays for me. And your dad? My dad is late. Would he have been comfortable with the daughter being called all sorts of names and the daughter getting the kind of pictures that we saw you take in Siavonga, for instance? I'm not sure, but let's be clear. In Siavonga, I was swimming and I was at the beach and you don't expect me to be in a suit or a boo-boo? What's the problem? And I don't know why you keep asking me that. No, I keep on asking that question because, because I mean, over the weekend, it was a long weekend mm. and your pictures caused quite some talk. So it's not me asking you for the sake of asking you. It's about following what people were saying okay, on social media. let's talk about what people are saying on social media. I think you should have stuck on that, like just talk about what people are saying on social media. Like when you start involving like family members, her father's late, and then you're like, but what, what, what would he have thought if his daughter was this way? I think it's, it, I don't know, maybe it's his style of um, interviewing, but it's so, um, it's almost aggressive, but I'm not going to say it's aggressive because like these are questions you can answer easily. However, I think his style of questioning is, is special. Is special. I watch more of his interviews just to have a gist of of him as um, as a personality. Of the country, don't people swim? 
Do you not see Angelina Jolie at the beach with her kids? But, Is it because I'm black or because I'm a woman? I, or because we're in Africa, I should be attacked? People swim. It's life. You go to the beach, you wear a swimsuit or a bikini, and you swim. What's the problem? Why is everybody getting their knickers tied in the knot? I don't understand. <laughs> 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 Hold your titties, girl. <laughs> girl, girl, girl. Don't you ask me a proper question. It's not happening to judge. Yeah, but you're questions. asking me from a prostitute and how I manage. Did you ask Mouse that? Did you ever ask Pilato that? Why are you going to ask me that? I think I've answered the question. No, you haven't. You are not interviewing me. I'm here to interview you. If you could just give me the opportunity to do the interview, that would be better. We're not quarreling in Italy. And as a journalist, you must know that better. But don't ask me insulting questions in my own house. Okay, tell us. I will kick you out. <laughs> Guys, let's switch off the cameras. Oh my god. This is like 12 minutes in. I have like a... This whole video is 30 minutes. They stopped at 12 minutes. What the hell? <laughs> I'm so dead. She's like, I won't kick you out. I will kick you out. Of course, you've explained that you've got two jobs. Mm. There are people that say you are a gold digger because you allegedly. <laughs> it just keeps on going. <laughs> she said she was gonna throw you out. Was that was that a break? And then he comes back with a gold digger. This interview is so fun. Me. Live beyond your means. Are you a god Again. I don't want to say he's disrespecting her because if this is what is out there on social media and he's only asking just so he knows what she she thinks about what's going on, I get it. But at the same time, he's not unbiased. He he he's putting on seeds like he has his own opinion on what she has done, what she's and I guess that's the thing here. He has his own opinion and I think that's the problem with the interview don't add your own opinion we really don't care about your opinion we care about what she's going to say about the questions you're asking but the way he's asking them it's like he's already made up his mind whatever it is she says or oh, you're a person who exists and survives within your means ah so you see again kennedy that's where i I'm, I'm, I'm finding your questions very insulting. Because I'm not here, no, 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 no. Italy. Let me what? make it very clear. I'm not here to insult you. Let me make it very clear that you're sitting in my house and you're asking me about the fact that I could maybe be a gold digger or maybe A, B, C, and D. How am I living beyond my means? Look at my house. I have two jobs. What, a woman who works two jobs can't afford this. We show illustration. Yeah, we oh, show okay. Damn. I've been watching this video the whole time. I told you at the beginning of the video her house is bomb. Is that why she's being called a gold digger? Because she has a goddamn good house? Her house is beautiful. But isn't she, like, successful? Doesn't she have money? Doesn't she have, like, proof that she goes to work? And she says she has two jobs. And I'm guessing they are two full jobs. She's a journalist. Does, don't people go to school so that they can have a good life? I mean, if she did journalism and this is like, I don't, I don't get it. Why can't girls afford their own ish? You know, that's, that's my thing, basically. Why can't girls afford their own ish without being called a gold digger? Yeah, I have a problem with that. And I think she put it in a good way because I, I wasn't getting, I was getting something not right. But I think she really nailed the, the coffin on it right there. That is not the way people say it, but whatever. Thank yeah. you very much for hosting us. And yes, I'm very, very... Chris. And I won't even give you juice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's up to you. And I won't give you guys juice. If this is what you get. No, no, we're not here. Me, no, listen, we're ask, not ask me better. That's... She is so right. Like this, this interview is scandalous. Like it's good for tea, and it's good for like a good scandal. But this is not. Like I think if you wanted to like really have a great conversation with this woman, he would have done it a different way. But I don't think he came here for that. He came for the drama and the tea, and whatever tea he would get out of it. Maybe a reaction from her. I don't know. Again, I don't know this Kennedy dude. He looks like a good person. Questions. Ask me what I'm doing right. Ask me about, you know, things that I'm, I'm thriving at in my life. I'm Those are things that. that I want to hear. I'm not... The negativity for me is draining. I'm getting to that. Can we, we, can we, we get to the parts? 
I'm waiting. We are not here. <laughs> and <laughs> my nail technician is coming soon, so. <laughs> She's so funny. We are not here. To My nail technician is coming. So, uh, can I be given the opportunity just, to talk? Just don't insult me. I'm not here to insult you because you're not giving me an opportunity to talk, and yet I'm the one that is interviewing Aww. you. He's doing too much too. Like what the fuck? He's like she, she's not giving him the opportunity to talk, but dude, whenever you get the opportunity to talk, you say she's a, she's a prostitute. That you insinuate all these things, and sometimes you're just way too blunt with it. And you're just like, yeah, don't say she's not giving you the opportunity to talk. You have opportunity to talk. You're just doing too much. So when is the last time that you had a relationship? You know, I was engaged to be married when? In 20... 2017? <laughs> she is so funny. How do you forget your last engagement? 2017? I'm not sure. Like... It was 2017 like what <laughs> i mean if i was engaged to be married at a certain point in my life i don't think i'd forget but again i don't know ciao say me i think we've got what we needed <laughs> when it comes to this particular interview i do believe that it was a little bit over the place, all over the place. I don't know if the, the the way the questions were asked. I don't know. It just seemed like it was un it wasn't unbiased. So he released a statement on this particular interview because I believe he got some backlash in regards to the way he handled the interview. So in this uh, statement, he says that these um, questions that are conducted in this video, he sent them to her prior to them meeting for this um, interview so that she could review it and take out what she didn't want and what she did, whatever. So there was a lot of manipulating when it came to this video um, and this interview. Apparently he doesn't do that all the time, um, but I guess you should. Isn't that the way you prep people when it comes to interviews? I don't know. But um, he says that um, he doesn't usually do that, but there were, he, she didn't like the way uh, she was portrayed. <laughs> Can't speak today. She did not like the way she was portrayed in this interview. And she asked for certain changes. And I think they did that. They sent it to her and she approved of it. And then I don't know what happened. This is what we have. And um, how can I say this? If she knew what kind of questions she was going to ask, I think she should have prepared herself a little bit better and um, ready for the kind of questions that he was asking. Because I think the, the way he was asking the questions, if it was somebody else who did not have prior knowledge to these questions, and you just feel, you might feel attacked. You might feel attacked. So I can understand that part only, the difference here is that she had prior knowledge to the kind of questions that she was going to be asked. So she could have prepped herself and even just prepared the answers. You know, if you want this to come out brilliant and um, non scandalous, you, you can have um, prepared answers. Basically, you don't have to fall into his trap because I think what I think the way this whole interview ended up looking was that he trapped her into this interview and the way he was questioning her and um, she felt threatened and um, she had to retaliate basically. But she has a strong personality. She did say it like the way the, the whole conversation just begun. She's a diva. You see her in the daylight in her own house wearing sunglasses. And the way she, she, she has her own personality, she does her thing. Obviously, she's, um, I guess she's a celebrity. I mean, she's a journalist, but I guess journalists today are celebrities tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, she's, she, she's a diva, a celebrity, and she acts like one. And I think she was doing a lot of it for clout. I know I did, I did say that she didn't need it, but the way the whole thing just came out and once you see his statement later like how can you know the kind of questions that this person is going to um, ask you 
and at the same time have this kind of response you know it almost felt like okay he's trying to bait me fine i'll bait him you know like you can't do that almost like she wanted to have a um uh, an upper hand on the kind of questions he was asking um i do believe that there was a lot of sexist questions and um the interview wasn't unbiased it was very biased he had his own opinion on certain things again it might be cultural i don't watch a lot of interviews um from africa especially from zambia i think that's like the most important just saying africa in general we don't all think alike we don't have the same traditions the same um upbringings like it's all different different styles from different countries wherever it is you're from but i just feel like um it wasn't unbiased and it's a shame it's a shame because uh the whole bikini thing i don't give a fuck i don't care i don't care i really don't care okay girl go to the beach and do you and i'm sure there are tons of people who are at the same beach they're dressed just like she is but maybe they don't take the, the same kinds of poses. I don't know. I don't know. And I think this whole thing of her being a Christian and people um, expecting um, Christ, Christian <laughs> and people expecting Christians to conduct themselves in a different, in, in a certain way all the time is a little bit hard for people to do. At the end of the day, we're all humans. And I think people have chosen... Um, a different approach when it comes to God and when it comes to their relationship with God. It really has nothing to do with the second or third party, you know. It's between me and God. Well, between her and God because, anyways, this is not about me. But I just felt like, yeah, that's what I felt. That's what I felt. I liked the video and I felt like it was interesting. I, um, I clicked on a few of her show. I think it's on YouTube. Um, I think she has a show, but I'm not sure if it's an act. It's um, currently all airing, or if it is an old project that she uh, let go, and she's now doing other things. But I will do um, reviews on that as well. I'm gonna watch a few of them. I like those kind of platforms where you like you put women on a platform, almost like um, the real. Or the view depending on what kind of things they're talking about obviously the view is more political than the real which is more um, pop culture and uh, I guess if you balance the two it could be interesting I had stumbled upon a video in Africa about young young women who were talking about these things and I found it interesting I think I have it on my YouTube channel where I reacted on it but I love I love those panels I love it and when it is African women like just talking about girl stuff talking about empowerment talking about evolution <laughs> talking about um all kinds of things things that you just don't don't see on a regular because you don't see yourself on television i just treasure that a lot so i'm rooting for her and i'm rooting for him too i'm rooting for this both of these people for great success because we need content and we need to be entertained by our own people anyways um that is it with this video i appreciate you so much for watching and again thank you and uh, yeah, we'll see you in my next video. Ciao.